Joining us now is Dr. Kevin Jones with the University of Florida. Thank you for being with us today. It's a pleasure to be here. Let's talk about a class that you helped develop. Uh, the Impact of Materials on Science program, IMOS. What is it and how was it developed? Well, the idea is, is that we looked at engineering students and we said, do they really have a chance to understand how engineering is done in a social cons on content, right? And, and so what we did was we developed a class in which we look at the social structure and we look at the engineering structure in combination. And so I got together with a whole bunch of faculty in liberal arts and sciences, and we developed this class that said, you don't create something in a vacuum, you create it in a society. And so society is influencing what your creation is as much as your creation is influencing society. And so understanding that entanglement that happens with society is the whole idea of the That's class. That's the key, and let's speak to that. Uh, the course works in two ways. It gives non-technical students a glimpse into the way that scientists and engineers work and think. And it exposes societal and economic ways of thinking to those engineering and science students. So what have been some of the responses that you've seen from the two different groups? Oh, I think from the engineering standpoint, they understand much better what the global content and the context of their innovation is. And so, so they get very excited because the kids today seem to want to really impact society in a positive way. Yeah. And, and by understanding how their innovation could do that, they get very excited about being an engineer. And for the non-engineer, I think what they see is exactly what engineers do, because a lot of times they don't understand it. They think an engineer is some really smart kid in the room and we don't understand what they really do. Yeah. And now all of a sudden they can say, wow, I can see how that innovation in the future could really be beneficial to me. It could help me create a more sustainable world with better resources and, and, and enrich my life. And so they understand much better what engineers do. So I think it, it, it serves as a, a connection point between both of these sides of the equation and helps communication. I can tell you're very excited about it. Oh, this. I love this class. Still fairly new though, introduced in 2013 and 14 IMOS. Right. Now, what are some of the short-term goals? Well, so the short-term goal has been to get it out to as many freshmen as possible. So we're teaching about 175 to 200 students right now. And, on, and we've also created now a fully online version of the course, and we're now porting it out around the country. So we have a whole bunch of universities very excited about teaching this class. And we just really want to get it out to community colleges and universities and even down to the high school level. That would be the long-term goal. Where do you see it in the next decade going forward? I would see it in the next decade. We want to try to get this integrated as a core curriculum course in as many universities as possible because we think this, this can really change the equation. We think it can really open their eyes and broaden their minds to, to exactly how society can affect their innovations and how we affect society. And speaking of broadening it, it's not just across the fields of science and engineering, but you want to take this into the realm of social and behavioral sciences. That's well. right. That's right. We work very closely with faculty in the humanities and sociology and anthropology and classics. And so the course is actually co-listed in, in many, many different departments. And that's, that sort of speaks to the breadth that it tries to cover. Now, what type of feedback are you getting from some of the students? Oh, Do they enjoy it? Oh, the students are fab. They love it. You know, it, it, every student seems like says it's the best class I've ever taken. I've had history majors say this is really helping me understand how my history is, is working in the context. And so, um, I mean, the class is typically rated on a scale of one to five and it gets straight fives. The kids Fantastic. just love it. Love to hear that so, success, Dr. Yep. Jones. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Enjoy the meeting. Thanks so much.